for note, budding Nashville musicians can now hone their craft thanks to a generous donation to a metro school. Inside our schools tonight, News 2's Melissa Penry takes us to a classroom full of new guitars and talented students. James De Silva got his first guitar when he was eight years old and started playing seriously two years later. When you play an instrument long enough, the only thing that can really make you happy is playing an instrument, you know? You know at least that's how it is for me. Now this 15-year-old is a member of the Master Guitar Class at the Nashville School of the Arts. And I think it's like a, a snowball effect. You know, the better you get at it, the more you want to play. And the more you want to play, you know, the better, you, the, the more you play, the better you get. Today, James and his classmates got a special gift, a $22,000 guitar lab with 19 new Fender guitars and an intricate sound system to go along with them. It sounds like cacophony to the outside ear, but with headphones on, the students only hear themselves. The teacher can listen in at any time and talk to them via headset even play with them. I feel like a, Chris, a kid on Christmas morning, you know? You play, I'm gonna back you up. On this inauguration day, the teacher is a special guest. Rock artist Luke Reynolds, lead singer for the group Blue Merle. It's just gonna make it so much easier to teach, you know? To teach, to be able to like articulate idea and get them to follow through on it, and, uh, and they're just, they got everything going for them. Jane's classmates call him the best guitarist in the school, maybe even in Nashville. While James has his doubts about that, he does have big plans for the future. My goal is to be the, the best guitar player in the world. That's my goal. Having the Guitar Lab at the School of the Arts may be one more step toward that dream. In Nashville, Melissa Penry, News 2. VH1 Save the Music Foundation donated the new Guitar Lab in partnership with Comcast, Soundtree, and the Nashville Alliance for Public Education. It's homecoming weekend.